guys, Mr. Backwork here. This is part one of lesson 5.4. We're going to be using sum and difference formulas. Three objectives for this video. We're going to use sum and difference formulas to evaluate trig functions. We're going to use sum and difference formulas to verify identities. And we're going to use sum and difference formulas to solve trig equations. So here are your sum and difference formulas. It looks a little bit different than it does on your trig sheet. Uh, your trig sheet puts each one of these formulas together. Uh, if that notation is confusing to you at all, you can copy these down onto like the back of your trig sheet or just any open space that you do have on your trig sheet. So in this first example, we're looking at the cosine of 75 degrees, and the problem with this one is 75 degrees does not show up on the unit circle. But we can break 75 down into 45 plus 30, because both of those angles do show up on the unit circle. So if we rewrite this as the cosine of 45 plus 30, uh, this is a cosine addition. So we're going to look at the formula that says cosine of u cosine of v minus sine of u sine of v. Uh, the 45 is going to represent our u value. The 30 will represent our v value. So we're just going to replace those in our formula. So we've got the cosine of 45 times the cosine of 30 minus the sine of 45 times the sine of 30. And then we're going to check out our unit circle to replace these with actual values. So the cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. The cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2 minus, if we do the sine of 45, that's root 2 over 2 again. And the sine of 30 is 1 half. Now let's look at actually multiplying these together and simplifying it down. So in this first pair of fractions, root 2 times root 3 ends up being the square root of 6. On bottom we end up with 4 as our denominator. With our right hand fraction, square root of 2 times 1 is just the square root of 2 all over 4 again. And then since our fractions have common denominators, let's just go ahead and put those together. So the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 is just root 6 minus root 2 all over that denominator of 4. So this would be our final answer. Next example is a sine of 75. You can pause the video and try this one out on your own and then restart it to check your answer. Otherwise, just follow along with me. I would break that 75 down again, just like we did on the last page, into 45 plus 30. So then we've got the sine of 45 plus 30 and this is a sine sum formula, so we're going to use the one that says sine of u cosine of v plus cosine of u sine of v. So if we plug in our u and our v values, this would go sine of 45 times the cosine of 30 plus the cosine of 45 times the sine of 30. So sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2, plus cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2, and the sine of 30 is 1 half. Multiplying these together, we end up with root 6 over 4 plus root 2 over 4, and then putting our fractions together, we get root 6 plus root 2 all over 4 as our final answer. Next one we're looking at is the sine of pi over 12. Now this one might be a little bit trickier since this is a radian angle. There's actually a couple of different ways that we can end up getting that pi over 12. We could take pi over 3 minus pi over 4, or we could take pi over 4 minus pi over 6. Either way we do it, we should end up getting the same answer. I'm going to do the sine of pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So this will be my u value, this will be my v value. This is a sine difference formula since we're subtracting. So we're going to go with the sine of u times the cosine of v minus cosine of u sine of v. So replacing those values, this is the sine of pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 minus cosine of pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. And if we replace those with some actual unit circle values, sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. Minus cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And the sine of pi over 6 is a half. 
Multiplying these together, we end up with root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. And putting our fractions together, we get root 6 minus root 2 all over 4 as our final answer. Now that was using pi over 4 minus pi over 6. You can check it out using pi over 3 minus pi over 4. You should get exactly the same answer at the very end. Very similar problem to the last one. This one says the cosine of pi over 12. You can pause the video and try this one out by yourself or just follow along with me. We already broke down pi over 12 earlier, so that should make things a little bit easier on us. I'm going to go with that same pi over 4 minus pi over 6 that we used on the last slide. So this one will go cosine of u times the cosine of v plus the sine of u sine of v. So replacing our u and v values, we've got the cosine of pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 plus the sine of pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. Replacing those values with some unit circle values. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. Plus, we've got the sine of pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2, times the sine of pi over 6, which is a half. Again, multiplying these things together, we get root 6 over 4, plus root 2 over 4. And putting our fractions together, we get root 6 plus root 2, all over 4. In this example, we're going to be using our formula to work backwards to help us solve this one. So we've got the sine of 42 times the cosine of 12, minus the cosine of 42 times the sine of 12. And here's what I see when I look at this. I see a sine times a cosine minus a cosine times a sine. So if we check out our formulas, this looks a lot like that sine difference formula where it goes u minus v. So based on what we've got in our formula, this u value ends up being 42. Our v value is 12. So if we just replace those, we've got 42 minus 12 inside of those parentheses. And 42 minus 12 is 30. And the sine of 30, if we check out the unit circle, that's just a half. Feel free to pause the video and try this one out on your own. Otherwise, just follow along. I see a cosine times a cosine minus a sine times a sine. So that makes me think of that cosine sum formula if we check out our formula sheet. So we've got the cosine of 25 plus 20. And 25 plus 20 is just the cosine of 45, which if we look on our unit circle, that's root 2 over 2. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below. And thanks for watching.